from Luminary and Atypical Artists. You're listening to The College Tapes. Episode 6, Motalis Deorum, by Megan Fitzmartin. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Adam, th- thanks for coming. Yeah, of course. Adam, it's so good to see you. It's been too long. Frankie. Well, glad someone's happy to see me. What? Of course I'm... You both really want to air your dirty laundry in the hallway? Get inside. (sighs) So, please tell me, what does Ben disappearing have to do with your ex? Good to see you, Adam. Hi, Sadie. Nice haircut. Thanks, I washed it. Shouldn't we go to the police? If Ben's been gone a week... (laughs) And Ben is... New kid. Very typical, too. Freshman. So... Cole's not the one in trouble. You told him about Cole? No, no, that's... that's different. Ben is a friend of mine. Ours. They've been missing for a week, and when I went to, like, figure out what happened to them, their roommate gave me the bandana I showed you. Shouldn't that be in a Ziploc bag or something? And I say, once again, we should go to the cops. No, no cops. They... they don't always deal well with atypicals. Well, damn. That makes me feel great. Okay, if Adam's here, then this bandana really is the same symbol you guys found at Yale? You still haven't really explained... It's hard to explain. You only told us the feeling stuff. Sadie! I'm surprised you haven't filled them in on every detail, seeing as this is clearly now your thing. My thing? There was something strange happening on my campus. With Caleb, everything's strange. Hold but on! a typical strange, right? And then you swoop in and make it your thing. I didn't choose to take this on. It's not like I fabricated this whole thing to talk to you. I didn't say you did. Guys. It feels like that's what you're saying. Does it feel like that, Caleb? What else does it feel like? Well, now it just feels angry. Adam, calm down. Tell Caleb to stop using his powers on me. But sure. I'm not the one that left without saying anything. You didn't need me. We were supposed to go check out the basement. I didn't want to go by myself. I was trying to be respectful. You failed. Hey. What happened at Yale? And I'm not talking about shirtless activity. Frankie. The full story, not just Adam saw some people in robes and found some weird Latin. What really happened? We got lost in time. What? Excuse me? For like a minute. I I can't believe you spent two weeks talking about the awkwardness of having your shirt off around it, but failed to mention that you got lost in time? Awkwardness? Then I've been giving the wrong talk this whole time. I didn't realize the mom friend talk should have been don't go junior detectiving with your ex when there's literal superpowers involved. In our defense, we used to do it all the time in high school. There's a whole Hardy Boys life you guys led? That's so cute. Ugh, the Hardy Boys were brothers. Wait, that's why you left? Without saying anything or texting me? Okay, we keep losing the threads here. What's this bandana and our friend's disappearance and the Latin have to do with the weird time nonsense? We don't know yet, but something is going on. Adam found this same symbol when he was spying on some secret society. What? No. Listen, it's Yale. I'm sure there's all sorts of weird symbols there. No, like the exact same symbol, right? Yeah, it- Where'd you find it? The library. So it's just old. Doesn't have to mean anything. Was the symbol on something? Another bandana? Maybe they're just bandana friends. Friendanas! It was on an envelope with a bunch of Latin. What did it say? So Dallas Eximius Eret Transfigurari. In English, please? I'm I'm assuming you translated it. Well, considering I've been on my own in this investigation for the past two weeks and wasn't going to go into a dark basement by myself, yes, I did translate it. But the translation doesn't make any sense. A member of the excellent will be transformed. It's nonsense. What do we know about the symbol? No clue. Come on. You've seen it. It looks like a bad Photoshop of a circle with arrows sticking out of it. How am I supposed to know what the hell that means? Hey, hey, can you just calm down? Stop reading me. Adam, chill out. You're overloading him. I know. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to. Just... Hey, it's okay, Adam. I, I'm just... 
I I need to, I, I I need I need some air. You know, for some reason, I remember him being taller. Caitlin, I... Hey, how you doing? Bullshit. Come on. I told you it was a bad idea. I know, but I didn't have a choice. Oh, buddy, you are filled with bullshit tonight, aren't you? They hate me. I don't think that's true. That's... <laughs> I took that one psych class freshman year. What did they call it? Negative rumination? No, it's not rumination. If I don't belong here. Yeah. Come back. I'll make an ice cream sundae. You can watch When Harry Met Sally while I work on my paper. I can't just come back. There really is something going on, and now someone is missing, and ugh. And you think you're the one to fix it? To make it all better, like some superhero? One more year to graduation, Adam. Now's not the time to start freaking out. That's what junior year was for, remember? Adam, you there? Yeah. And? I... I don't know. Adam, you can't just call me and expect me to solve your problems like I'm your girl Friday. I'm not... Look, I gotta work on this paper. Let me know if you need anything, all right? Yeah, I will. I'm sorry. The paper, I'm... I'm really stressed. It's, it's okay, Caitlin. You were right. I was trying to be a superhero. That's not me. Fucking shit! Fuck! Everything okay? Just surprised Adam is all. What are you doing? I had an anxiety attack. Are you alright? Yep, no more anxiety. It's all gone, just like that. Great, you're making jokes, so I don't have to worry about you. Why are you here? Caleb called me. So your ex calls and you just drop everything to make the two hour drive? I took the bus. Oh, sorry. You dropped everything to make the seven hour ride. Caleb did the same for me. Yeah, that's sort of the problem, isn't it? <sighs> Listen, Adam, I know. I'm sure the breakup and everything was hard on you, and God knows it's been rough on Caleb. It has. For sure. But I thought you guys agreed distance was the best thing. This isn't some ploy, Sadie. I'm not trying to trick him or anything. So what are you trying to do? There's something going on, and I can't figure it out on my own. Are you sure there's something going on? Are you suggesting I kidnapped Ben to get back with Caleb? No. No, that's not... I, I didn't mean... <sighs> Maybe this is all a crazy coincidence. Or something's going on! If there is, and it's something atypical, then this isn't just some fun mystery. Then it's legitimately an issue for Caleb, for Frankie, and for people like them. You don't think I know that? I think you may not understand what it means. Oh, I understand... So fucking much. I understand what it means to have someone going after atypicals to be a threat to people that I... Look, Caleb and I may not be dating anymore, but that doesn't mean I don't care. I will always care. I know that. And you know what? You're right. It's not my place. What are mortals compared to gods? What are men? Mortal gods. Good old Heraclitus. I don't want anything to happen to him. You you don't need to be his watchdog. There's no one who wants to protect him more than me. But I don't have... I'm, I'm just me. Not special, no skills. In fact, it's my family's fault. It... That wasn't it, you know. The breakup. I know, I know. But you're right. I shouldn't be here. Take care of him. My phone? Untappable. Nobody jailbreaks like me. 
Hey, you okay? You, you and Sadie were gone a while. I'll figure out what's happening at Yale, okay? You guys should go to the police about Ben. I'll handle Yale on my own. I don't know if I've seen you do so bad at this game in your whole life. Just down on my luck tonight, Ellen. Ain't you supposed to be down at that fancy Connecticut college? Bus doesn't leave for another hour, so... Ah, so here you are, wasting quarters with an unfocused mind. You're never gonna beat his record, you know. Oh, I know. Visiting your folks? No. Visiting... him. Oh. Don't start. I know it was a bad idea. And I know. I shouldn't have come. And yes, I'm sure it made things worse. Boy, have I ever kicked you when you was down? Yes, many times. Literally, just now. That was asteroids. I'm talking real life. I thought asteroids was real life. Look, you can't afford to be a smartass when it looks like you got no friends. Smartass rescinded. You're a smart boy. You know your heart. You got your reasons. And whatever happens, I think it's going to be okay. What makes you say that? Figured you'd be here. Well, since you both are no longer underaged, I think I'll go get you some beers. Thanks, Ellen. Always, smartass. Need something? Thought you'd be on your way to Yale. How quickly you forget the bus schedule. How do you think I knew you'd be here? Sadie told me. About our super chill and totally cool hallway talk? Look, I'm sorry. She's worried. No kidding. I'm trying, Adam. Trying to do what, exactly? Be normal. That's why I left that night. Because it's super normal to leave without saying goodbye. I never said I was any good at normal. No kidding! But it does seem like you're getting the hang of the normal realm. <laughs> Only you would say it like that. <sighs> yeah, I mean, sort of. I don't know, it's like... Just when I think I have a handle on one side of the empathy thing, it, it kicked into high gear on the other side. I can't ever get my fucking footing. What do, you, what do you mean? Never mind. Look, Sadie and Frankie are just worried. Caleb. Sorry they were like that. Frankie's always been nice to me. Fine, I'm sorry about Sadie. But she can't treat you like that. <laughs> yes, she can. Out of anyone, she can be shitty to me. I'm your ex. And if Ben really is missing... Do you think whatever is going on at Yale, that it's part of what happened to Ben? Or Ben just took a week off school and this is all a crazy coincidence? Sometimes that happens. Yeah, not to us. No, usually not. What are you going to do? As much as I don't want to call the police... Look, it's not a bad idea. Maybe Sadie can file a report. She seemed pretty gung-ho when I left. Or, or we can get their roommate to do it, so it's not tight to typicals, you know? And I want to do everything I can to find Ben. The police might just not be enough. Frankie is looking into the symbol now, trying to figure out what it might be. He has some frightening insight into the dark fringes of Reddit, which I refuse to ask about because that place is like fucking Dante's nightmare. So, what's wrong? What? You're sad again. No, I'm not. Yeah, nice try. It's just... hard. What is? Seeing you. With Sadie and Frankie. What? I'm, I'm not... We're, we're not... Nothing's happening with them. No, God, I know that. I just... First you had Dr. Bright. Then Sam and Chloe. Mark. Now Frankie and Sadie. Yeah? That's what makes you normal. I thought we established I'm not normal. Well, no, but... With people. You're normal with people. You inspire people. I've seen it. You take on bad guys, and you solve mysteries, and stake out park benches, and save the world. Well, I just... I have Caitlin, and she's the best. I've grown a lot, and I wouldn't trade her for the world, even if she's super stressed out at the moment. But other than that, no matter what, you always have your atypical family. Sadie isn't atypical. Neither is Dr. Bright. I just forget sometimes until I'm around you. I always see what it's like to belong. 
You always belong with me. Oh my god. I was waiting for my moment and it looks like things just got awkward. So here are some beers, boys, on the house. Thanks, Ellen. You keeping an eye on the clock? Yes, Ellen. Just making sure. Adam, I, I didn't... It's fine. But, I, I mean, I, I meant... No, really, you don't have to. It's just, I, I don't want you to, to, to think that... I'm not, okay? Feel my feelings, I promise, I'm not. Be, because you don't, and I, I would never... And... Caleb, I get it. You meant it, but you didn't mean it. You want to be normal, but not really. I matter, but only as it relates to your atypical friends. Whoa, Adam, that's fucking not it at all. I gotta go, or I'm gonna miss the bus. That's it, then? Y- you're just gonna leave? Because feelings got hard and complicated? Ha! <laughs> that's rich coming from you. At least I said goodbye. Will you let it go? I'm sorry. I thought I was doing the right thing. And I'm doing what's right for me. You look for Ben here. Let me know if you find them. You're not going to make the bus. I do still remember the bus schedule. And you're trying to get me to miss it? I don't want you to leave like this. Especially not if there's something going on. Unbelievable. You're still going. The, the, the bus... Why, why would I stay with you after... You're just going to show up at your parents' house at this time of night? I could always stay with Aunt Annabelle. Great. Let me know if she took that. You missed the bus, smartass. I know, Ellen. I know. number of Miriam Laird. If this is an emergency, hang up and dial 911. Otherwise, please leave your name and number and I will respond as soon as I can. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Miriam? Hi, it's Adam? A- Adam Hayes? I, I know it's it's late, but I, I needed... Hello? Adam? Oh, um, hi, Miriam. Hi, Adam, are you all right? Yeah, yes, I am, um... Yes, you sound completely fine. Yeah. How are you feeling about... I'm still in love with my ex, but we can't be together. Oh, that's... Well, first of all, I'm honored that you talked to me about this. Miriam. No, really. I know how hard it is for you to talk about certain things, especially when it comes to interpersonal relationships. So, how do I fix it? What do you mean? You're not gonna just tell me what to do, or tell me what I did wrong? Not generally, no. I don't find that ever helps anything, do you? So, what do you mean, fix it? How do I stop loving him? Is that what you want? We can't be together. Why not? Because... Because we just can't. Because he has so many people in his life, so many people who love him, and who he has to care for, and he comes from a whole different world than me, a world I can never be a part of, and not really, because I... I come from monsters. What do you mean by monsters? I hurt him. I don't know how it happens, I don't mean to, I never mean to, but I can tell. Just being near me, feeling what I'm feeling, it hurts him, and I don't... I don't know how to not hurt him. That doesn't sound healthy. Yeah, you can do better. I didn't mean for him, I meant for you. Oh. Where are you? Boston. I came back to help him. There's some stuff going on, I I can't really get into it. He asked me to help, but... I'm not anything. The people he's friends with, he doesn't need me. I don't think that's true, Adam. Sure. No, really. You said he asked you to go to Boston? Yeah. He must have asked for your help for a reason. He must trust you. 
I really wish that were true. The truth is, Adam, we all fail. We all hurt each other. That's just being human. But the true test for us mere mortals is, what do we do after we fail? Still with me, Adam? Yeah, I'm here, Miriam. Good. So, what are you going to do? Adam! Hey, look guys, Adam's back. Frankie, you don't live here. Stop answering our door. I'm practicing. Adam? You... You came back. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry for just leaving. Well, Sadie was a dick to you. Fuck off. But, yeah, I was a dick. That's on me. No, I... Thank you. So... Did you come back with thoughts on the symbol? Because we googled like hell and it turns out, if the internet doesn't have the answer, I'm useless. Are you sure? There's something going on and whatever it is, it's important. I would never leave you out in the woods on something like this, no matter what. Thank you. So, it's it's not on Google? We did everything. Google image search, reverse image search. I even scoured the bowels of Reddit, which I'll never be able to wash off. So when is a symbol not searchable? When is a raven like a writing desk? Maybe it's not what it seems. You don't think it's a symbol? I mean, not not like what we would think a symbol would be. So what is it? Why wear it? Why put it on a wax seal? Why put it in Latin? Latin. When is a symbol not a symbol? What's going on? What's, What's going through your brain? Is this a riddle? When is a symbol not a symbol? When? When it's multiple symbols. A formula. What? A formula for what? All the different circles and lines. The the, the Latin transfigurari. Oh, you think it's medical. If this is atypical and this is medical. No, no, absolutely not. Then I know just the people to ask about this. College Tapes is brought to you by Luminary and Atypical Artists. The series is written by Lauren Shippen, Brigham Snow, and Megan Fitzmartin. This episode is written by Megan Fitzmartin. In it, you heard the voices of Alex Gallner as Adam, Emily Kirk as Sadie, Zach Barrick as Frankie, Brigham Snow as Caleb, Victoria Grace as Caitlin, Kate Cohen as Ellen, and Miriam Katz as Miriam. This episode was directed by Lauren Shippen and sound designed by Misha Stanton. The series was sound designed by Misha Stanton and Brandon Grugel. Original score by Evan Cunningham. The College Tapes is produced by Lauren Chippen, Brigham Snow, Lillian Holman, and Evan Cunningham. Thank you for listening, and stay strange. Stay strange.